Oh, hi everyone. Uh, Vegas from Critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard. Uh, just checking out my uh, Comic Con guidebook here. I just got back from Comic Con and uh, it's crazy. So, uh, story time about uh, one of my events that I did at Comic Con. So this was the first year that I went to Comic-Con with my own press credentials. Usually I go under, uh, you know, other other organizations as a stringer or, or something like that. But this year I got my own credentials. So I got to go there on my own. And uh, so there's there's a lot to learn about Comic-Con. I've, I've gone to Comic-Con as a fan maybe 15, 20 years ago. But I'm just learning all the ropes in, in terms of how it all works. And one of the things is called exclusives. And... At the Comic-Con, you have uh, autographs from TV stars, from uh, comic book people. Uh, you have uh, special events that give out special merchandise, like from Lego or Hasbro or, uh, you know, uh, Funko. And they all have exclusive content and exclusive uh, items that they only sell at Comic-Con. Now, with over 350,000 people attending San Diego, <laughs> going to this convention, everyone can't get, they all can't do it, right? So they do something of a lottery called exclusives. And I, I'm not sure how many you get, but I got like 150 chances to go through every uh, um, event that was going on during the all three or four days of the convention. And you, you take those entries and you put maybe one at Sunday morning for Funko at, at 10.30. You put how many chances you want into that, into that lottery. And there's also like exclusive signings, you know, like from the Orville or from uh, Gotham or, uh, you know, Rick and Morty, you name it. There's so much to do. It's, it's overwhelming. So you have to choose what you want to put your exclusives in for. What's your, your lottery? Let me put this down. So this is about my story about getting a Funko Pop, which I got into about a year or two ago. A friend of mine got me into them. I'm not crazy like collecting all of them. I'm very specific what I like, but I love Jaws. And if you look at on my YouTube page, you can find uh, the story I did about all the Jaws pops that came out. Well, there was a Jaws pop coming out only exclusively from Entertainment Earth and from Funko that was at Comic-Con this year. And the only way you can get it is if you won that uh, exclusive a certain day and time to buy that pop or buy all the pops. I know people who buy all those Funko pops who get uh, you know, get, win the lottery. That's why I call it the lottery. The exclusive, and that pays for their whole trip. You can make thousands of dollars of those exclusive uh, Funko Pops only sold at San Diego Comic Con. So one of my goals of this trip was to get that that pop. And that pop was, uh, if you see back here, where is my hand? I'm looking in the monitor right there. That's that's kind of like what the one I got. It's it's Bruce the shark. That's the one with the tank, and they also have Bruce the shark without the tank. This is the one where Quint is going in his mouth. So. I put in all my uh, my entries and all the different things I wanted. I didn't get a Funko one. Okay, so now I had to figure out a different way to get this pop. And they have this huge booth at the same place every year on the on the convention floor. And I was going to go up to somebody and say, uh, excuse me, are, are you buying the Jaws pop for yourself? No, I'm not. Well, would you get it for me? I thought, well, what? how could that be a problem, right? So I was getting up the nerve to do it. It's crazy, crazy going on. And there's this, I pick somebody out of the crowd who's like hip, cool looking. So I go up to this guy and I say, hey, you getting the Jaws Pop? He goes, no. I go, would you mind getting it for me? And I gave him 40 bucks. And usually they cost like 20 for these larger pops. And he can keep the change. I don't care for his trouble. And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. And as I'm doing that, some security-like lady walked by and go, uh-uh, oh, no, no, not on my watch. This ain't happening. And she kind of shooed me away, but I already gave him the money. So I kind of turned around and looked at him, and he kind of gave me, I like, looked at him like, and he, he kind of went like that. And as I walked away, a guy from Funko came up, and I just heard him as I walked away. You know, you can lose your place in line and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, oh, my God, I endangered this poor guy who won his exclusive to get all these pops, and I messed it up by going up to him. So anyway, he kept the money. I walked away. I stayed kind of close by. There was this giant Thanos, you know, that was a giant pop figure. I kind of stayed on the other side of that, and he took about 45 minutes to get through the line. And it's really funny because he had glasses, and he was nerdy looking. You know, that's a compliment. And I said to myself... Uh, Two or three times, I kept mistaking him for somebody else. So this one guy came out, and I followed him. I said, sorry about that. What happened and all that? And the guy looked at me like I was crazy. And when I found out, it wasn't him. You know, I was like, oh, my God. So I got the wrong guy. So eventually, the guy came off the line, saw me. We were around the corner, and he gave me my pop. So I got my Jaws pop. And I said, hey, I'm so sorry about that. He goes, oh, no worries. What are they going to do? You know, big deal, right? So the point is, I got the pop. And here it is. This is called uh, Shark Biting Quint. So, can you see that? Now, from what I understand, the whole Magilla is this little sticker. Where is it? I'm looking at the bottom. This little sticker right here. And I, I don't know how close I can get that. 
but it says Comic-Con exclusive, but that supposedly that little sticker is what makes this pop so valuable. I mean, I guess this thing sells for hundreds of dollars on eBay. So, uh, isn't that cool? Now, here's the other problem, how to get this back on the plane, you know, because you can't pack this thing, you know, and the box is everything. And I don't collect this to make money. I don't collect this because it goes up in value. I collect it because I love Jaws. You know, this is my favorite movie of all time. But you don't want to devalue this for any kind of reason, you know. And you get excited about these things, and six months from now, hey, someone offered me $300. You know, I'm going to take it. But pop collectors are real anal about their packaging. So this thing has got to have no blemishes, no creases, no nothing. And I have a friend of mine who went with me who was a pop expert. He said, this box is in mint condition. So I said, how am I going to get this home? Because you have to carry this thing on your lap on the plane. So it's bad enough flying southwest that I've got to get on a plane after Comic Con and hold this thing from San Diego to Las Vegas. So I thought that was hysterical. But I got this. Isn't this isn't this cool? So this was one of the highlights of my trip. I have other highlights too, but this is super cool. So I was really jazzed about this. So is that too nerdy? I was like, oh geez, Jeff, and you wouldn't believe the effort I went to to get this pop, to get it home, and to make this video for you. So anyway, that's pretty cool. And if you look on the back, it shows all the other pops. I have all of these already, but not look at Quinn getting eaten. That's so cool. Anyway, so that was my uh, attempt at getting the Funko Pop. Probably a lot of you who go to Comic-Con are saying to yourself, yeah, you don't walk up in line, you don't do that. And I didn't know that, so better luck next year. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Also, um, check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you're watching on YouTube, uh, what do you think? Did you like my pop story? I thought it was cool. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Have you been to Comic-Con? Do you collect pops? I hope you do. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.